Hi, it's laundry day. Uh, because I'm lazy and it's easy to sit on the couch and do nothing, I have to build physical activity into my day. Uh, I'm less likely to go out for a walk or to go to the gym. I've never been to a gym or to put fitness into my life. So I have to find ways to make it happen in everyday chores. Today, it's hanging laundry. There will be a lot of upper body workout with this one. My, my clothesline is just a little high and awkward, even at its lowest setting, but uh, it's what I've got. It was here when we moved in and we haven't modified that yet. So uh, I'll work with what I have. I gotta keep myself moving. It's time to be active in April. And you know, upper body is important too because we will be shoveling, we will be raking, we will be digging holes and moving seeds. We will be using the hoe and uh, making rows, uh, all kinds of upper body that's also going to work with the lower bodies. So today I'm gonna to be focusing on something my friend said that goes back to what I was saying the other day. The knees and the nose have to point in the same direction. None of this. None of this twisting and, and distorting and, and warping your body. Keep your knees and your nose pointing in the same direction. <laughs> it keeps everything from getting twisted. Yes, we have very flexible waists and our bodies are designed to do those movements, but not repetitively and definitely not if you're out of shape. Uh, let's see what I can get done here today. My coat is too restrictive, I can hardly move my shoulders. It's about eight degrees out here today, and as long as the wind isn't blowing, it's nice in the sun. But as soon as the wind blows, forget it, it's cold. Did you know, in some new subdivision builds, you're not allowed to have a clothesline? It's part of the uh, HOA or local, uh, local bylaws in the area. Not until 20 years after the house is built or something. But hanging your laundry is a great way to reduce your carbon footprint. You've, you've washed it. That uses some hydro. But hanging it on the line, that's solar power and wind power. And it's what they did in the old days. I grew up, my mom always used a clothesline and my siblings always put diapers on the line and stuff like that. I remember one time when I was little, I might have been six or eight years old, I was hanging laundry, I wanted to, it was diapers, so it was really easy for me to hang. And I flicked the diaper, and I had hit a bee or a wasp or something at the time, and it went off of the, off of the, the diaper or out of the air or whatever I hit, and straight into my belly button, and it stung me. That's the first, uh, that was the second time I had a bee sting in my life. Our lawn had a lot of clover on it and I was just about three years old. And uh, I stepped out of the kiddie pool. Well, you know, one of those little ones that's only about six inches deep. And I stepped right on a bee that was on the clover in the yard. So, yeah, <laughs> I learned early that those things hurt. <laughs> it's April in Ontario. We have pollen all over the place already. Let me show you this a poplar tree in our yard. In close enough to see that or not, can you see those pollen? I don't even know what to call them. They look like little caterpillars hanging off of the tree. I guess that's their blossom. But yeah, if you have springtime allergies, there they are. Hey, while well, I got you zoomed out. There's the chicken coop, not far. We had guests stay recently, so I've got bedding to hang. 
And isn't line hung bedding the best smell in the world? When I was growing up, nobody showed me this trick, putting the clothes pegs on the, at, right at the pulley when you're done hanging that load. And for moving back and forth in the wind and ending up way down at the end where the trees are or anything like that. All right, so that's taken about 10 minutes. I need to find something else to do. I have guests coming tomorrow, so I will be cleaning the house. Um, I do have a robot vac, so I don't need to, uh, I don't need to run the vacuum physically run the vacuum, but that's a great way to get an upper body workout as well. I do have to vacuum the stairs, so uh, we all know that's a workout just in itself. You don't even have to think about that, except keeping the nose and the knees pointing in the same direction. And that'll be great for squats and getting up and down, so uh, that's next. Well, as I mentioned just a minute ago, I'm lazy. The housework has gotten out of control and these stairs need to be vacuumed. There's no easy way to film this, so I'm better off just showing you a before and after. It's pretty, pretty sad. Uh, but it's a way to get my body moving and to get some muscles working that I'm going to need to be working in the garden. Why can't I do this stuff every day? I don't get it, but I'm doing it now. Spring cleaning will get me in condition for gardening. I have some string on the stairs. I think it looks like I have some grass on the stairs. All up this side of the stairs is dusty. Take care of that and I'll bring you back when I'm done. All right, I'm winded. The stairs are done. They're not perfect. I could use an extra tool and another going over, but it's more than I did yesterday, obviously. And uh, I have to take that laundry off the line now. Come on, join me outside. It's a little windy out here today. I'm sure the mic is picking up the wind noise. Uh, the wind knocked my basket and my container of pegs all the way down the stairs. So now I have to get some shoes on and go down there and uh, work the stairs. Uh, I guess nature is telling me that, yeah, you better get yourself in working order. You have some tasks to do. <laughs> okay, I got my cute shoes on. <laughs> now it's time to pick up some pegs. I'll start at the bottom. tell if any went underneath the stairs or not. I might have to crawl under there. I sure hope not. That one's broken. And that one's broken. The two of them are broken. I might have a little task in front of me. Oh, and there's another one with a spring off. That laundry down. I have another load of laundry, another load of sheets to go on the line, but uh, with this much wind, and we've made plans suddenly to go out this afternoon for a, for a run to a local store. Um, actually, not local. We're going to Dollarama, and that's no matter which direction we go, that's 45 to 60 minutes away. And uh, there's something I need to pick up there, so I can't find it locally. So. Uh, here we go. I'm going to be. I've, I've put that other load in the dryer, and I'm just going to pull this stuff and be done with hanging laundry for the day. Look at the wind whipping that laundry. I'm sure they're dry, but because of the pollen, I will put them in the dryer for 10 minutes and make sure that it it, it takes the dampness off of them. It takes any insects off of them, and we are in chick territory and it takes the pollen off of them so I'm not rubbing my face with pollen when I get out of the shower in the morning or when I put my head on the pillow at night. I need to do what I can to prevent an allergic reaction. Most of the time I just deal with uh, stuffy nose but uh, if you saw the most recent video where I was taste doing the kombucha then uh, you would know that uh, I have a problem. <laughs> All right, laundry. I did not raise this when I went in. It's gone up just from the wind blowing on those laundry. Let's bring it back down. And I think maybe I should buy some clothes pegs while I'm at Dollarama. And 
of course now the wind has let down but it, you know it's going to come right back up again and the sun's coming out oh it is a gorgeous day um we're going to go shopping and i will have my step counter on me while i'm shopping i don't actually i haven't had it on me all day so the steps i get this afternoon will be the only steps that are caught uh that are caught in the in the app uh, i should carry it on me all day because i've been all over this house today up and down back and forth but uh it is what it is my body knows that i've moved whether the step counter knows that i've moved or not and that's what matters <laughs>